we can't evaluate the limit of x squared plus x minus 6 all over x minus 2 directly by substitution. If we try to plug x equals 2 into the numerator, we get 4 plus 2 minus 6, which is 0. And if we plug it into the denominator, we get 2 minus 2, which is also 0. So 0 over 0, that's not going to work. Instead, we notice that the numerator is a quadratic, and so it might be easy to factor. So we're trying to write the numerator as x plus or minus something times x plus or minus something. Those things need to be two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to positive 1. You may think about 3 and 2 because they differ by 1 and multiply to 6, but we need them to multiply to negative 6, so we might try negative 3 and positive 2. But these add to negative 1. We need them to add to positive 1. So we'll settle on positive 3 and negative 2. That works perfectly. Thus, we factor this into x plus 3 and x minus 2. And this allows us to evaluate the limit by canceling that factor of x minus 2 in the numerator with the x minus 2 in the denominator. That just leaves the limit of x plus 3, and of course, we can plug 2 into this. We find the limit is 5.